Okay, it's another edition of Joe's Record Store, and uh, this is a uh, reissued classic that uh, I haven't wanted to get my hands on for a while, and I did. And uh, this is a uh, totally re-recorded, totally remade from scratch uh, a version of the original White Cross album, which was released in 1987, their self-titled debut, and uh, years later... Uh, they got the bright idea to suddenly go in the studio and record it all again, and it was titled 1987. And uh, and this is when uh, their debut came out, and it, this is still the golden age of Christian metal. And they, um, it wasn't flooded like you see now, you know. And uh, and how can I describe White Cross? Um, one of those, you know, very bold evangelistic soap box preaching bands you know when you go to their concert you know you're going to get lots and lots of preaching and word and uh, you know the altar call the whole shebang and, uh, and uh, this is one of the groups that you know totally got me into the noise aside from striper like everybody else and um, but just a really good redo a lot of vintage pictures and uh, the thanks list and of course, the uh, other songs were also redone. Like the, uh, they also had the "Love on the Line" EP, and that were also redone and added. So this has more, <coughs> more songs on it than the original album, <coughs> and uh, old vintage picks. And this is how I remember White Cross when I saw them in my little early adolescent days. And uh, just a lot of happy memories. I mean, when I play this, I almost get teary eyed. <laughs> And if you never heard White Cross before, especially their earlier stuff, if you can imagine like the best of Dawkin, Rat, um, Motley Crue, early Motley Crue, and you know put them in a blender, and this is pretty much what you get. You get White Cross, just good, you know, straightforward hard rock and metal or metal rock, and. Uh, <coughs> Even though they didn't look as glamorous as their secular contemporaries, I mean, they're in a lot of ways they were. I think they were better musicians. And uh, Rex Carroll is a smoking hot guitarist. If you haven't seen him in a show, you got to. And uh, that's it for White Cross. And I got a whole lot of White Cross in the archives, as I said before, that I hope to bring home early next year. And thank you for watching Joe's Record Store. And definitely check out White Cross. I mean, one of the, you know, historical forefathers of righteous noise as we know it. Stay metal.